Hi, my friends. Today we study something very interesting. This is uh, an assembly of two objects. One is the postament, this one with this ellipse, and the other one is palette, the yellow one. And each of them has uh, presentation and drawing. Presentation and drawing. Good. Now you see this dimension is 39.95 and the other is 6.03. Let's go to the assembly and let's rotate this palette. You see the cut is moving inside. If I free the left button of the mouse you see what happens take a look oh where is the cut <laughs> the cut is here inside and everything was changed everything means everything of the palette because this is fixed if i go to palette we see uh, that this is moved but we see here uh, the difference it was 39.99 yes now is 25.52 and this was also different zero six point zero something what uh, means this this means that i can move this wherever i want around this and i'll have a new drawing my friends isn't interesting i i think uh, this is very interesting let's create these two parts the postament has this uh, dimension diameter of 200 and an ellipse with dimensions 86, 60. A hole in the middle, 12. And uh, the thickness of the ellipse is 6. Dimensions 17 and 5. Standard millimeters IPT. 2D sketch this plane x to the right even if uh, this doesn't have any relevance in this uh, case because this is a circle 200 diameter finish sketch extrude 5 millimeters okay then on this face we create an ellipse this is the center go to the right go up dimensions 86 and 60 then offset to the inside of six finish sketch extrude this area dimension is 17 minus 5 okay material stainless steel and this face is red good 
we save this under the name PO from Postament. Save. The other component of this assembly is the palette with dimensions as you can see here but without this 2100 radius 8 25 20 12 5 6 15 new standard millimeters IPT sketch XY plane and uh, lines to create a sketch for revolving this uh, line must contain the center point and also this dimensions 20 everything is scaled 12 is this five here and 15 all finish sketch revolve okay then we use the plane xy to create a cut f7 a rectangle then we place this midpoint on the center point and the unique dimension is 6 finish sketch extrude with the cut symmetrical all the way ok activate the plane YZ for a new sketch F7 we project this line and we create a rectangle with the, the width of 20 the other dimension starts from the center point and is 100 finish sketch extrude symmetrical on 6 ok we apply fillet of 8 and uh, a chamfer of 0 0.5 0 0.5 millimeters the material is uh, brass soft yellow save the name is PA from palette good having these two parts we create the assembly new standard millimeter standard millimeters IAM place and we place PO the postament place grounded at origin 
then space to repeat the previous order and we select PA this PA palette with the insert is but I forgot the hole here oh my god double click on this hole 12 this face this center and through now <laughs> is okay I save this and I find it in the assembly you see I apply constraint insert this uh, circle over this circle okay now you see we can rotate this but they are interferencing we can see this by using inspect analyze interference define set number one set number one is only one part not more of one set two is the other part not any other okay now we see here a volume that is uh, the interference between these two parts okay we know that this is an uh, interference now since uh, uh, these two objects are interfering we want to create that uh, adjustable cut to do this i close these two the components and i keep this new assembly then i use a special procedure double click on this part what will be cutted then we use the tool copy object and we select the other object not this one the other because I want to bring that uh, second object in the definition of this object we keep this uh, option as a surface okay and now you see here uh, an adaptive mark now I use sculpt the tool sculpt with the cut and I select who cuts this will cut the other uh, part okay we go back to the assembly and now we have what we wanted you see we save the assembly in this uh, condition as uh, a c okay we reopen the palette as uh, it was before 
And now we create a drawing of this palette. New ISO IDW base this to to view with their dimensions but I don't place here but this dimension and this dimension you can place any dimension you want any other dimension but these are uh, the two important dimensions then I go to in the to the assembly you remember uh, these dimensions 24.76 6.54 and now I rotate this and I go back to the drawing the values are others what means this my friends this means that you can have an object with its drawing to be modified by using the freedom of that object and to obtain the suitable drawing for create that uh, object in that very position. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.